We have got the Conference USA title game with North Texas heading to UTSA. That's right, the Roadrunners meet Meep at home, an 8.5 point favorite. Total sits at 70 on this. It's Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS Sports Network. It's in the Alamo Dome, and uh, and that place is going to be absolutely rocking. Uh, they, they won Conference USA last year. Uh, they're hoping to do the exact same as they head into the AAC. And number for me says UTSA by 16 over the last five weeks. This North Texas defense has been absolute trash. Uh, They are number 106 in PPA per drive on defense. UTSA on offense is number 12 in that metric over the last five weeks. Uh, The UTSA defense has not been great either, to be completely honest. And a lot of that has to do, the reason why their number is number 52 PPA per drive on defense is because uh, they have played some pretty weak competition, uh, just to be completely honest. But we're going to look at what the numbers say, right? Um, North Texas is number 29 PPA per drive on offense. They can sling it. They can throw the football quite a bit. They are number three in passing success rate over the last five weeks. UTSA's defense is number 110. It's something to pay attention to. Uh, passing downs PPA whenever North Texas gets behind the chains. Austin Oni can absolutely fling it. And there is a bit of a problem with that UTSA secondary. They are number 91 um, as far as passing downs PPA, right? Uh, they are number 88 passing down success rate is UTSA's defense. And passing down success, North Texas is number three. So North Texas will be able to move the football on these guys quite a bit, I would imagine. Um, The issue that I think that North Texas is going to run into is UTSA is number 13 in Havoc rate, and uh, North Texas is number 76 in Havoc rate allowed. So if they let uh, UTSA just come after the quarterback all the time, Austin on, he's not going to have a ton of time to be able to get rid of the football. And if that happens, uh, you look at this turnover margin, Austin on, number 81 in giveaways per game this year. Uh, definitely not great. Uh, on the other side, UTSA is number 25 in giveaways per game. So, yeah, they don't really turn the ball over. They don't hurt themselves. Um, it just, it just really don't. Just really don't. North Texas on defense is number 97 in PPA per pass. UTSA is number one over the last five weeks. Uh, you look at rushing like, if, if North Texas says, okay, well, we are going to play uh, eight men back and we are just going to make you try and beat us through the air or whatever, or make you try and beat us by running the football, UTSA number 44 PPA per rush, number 20 in rushing explosiveness. Uh, North Texas is number 110 in PPA per rush allowed. Uh, they are number 43 in rushing explosiveness. Y- you're not going to be able to make a whole lot of stops here. Standard downs PPA, so first and second down when you're ahead of the chains, etc. UTSA is number three in standard downs PPA. Uh, they are number 38 in standard downs success. North Texas, number 117 and number 97, uh, respectively, right? This is this is not a great North Texas defense. I know that this game was 31-27 to just a few weeks ago, but that was a weird script in that game. Things went a little sideways early in that one. I don't expect them to this time. I think that UTSA is going to come out rolling. Give me the Roadrunners and Coach Jeff Trailer. That quarterback, Frank Harris, is going to have a day, I would imagine. I think UTSA absolutely rolls them. I think they beat them by double digits here. Um, and maybe it's the last Seth Luttrell game. At North Texas, and we keep hearing rumors. Uh, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening with that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.